Hi, you're watching Charterhouse TV. Uh, as part of our USA tour, we're here at Ecotech and it seemed like the perfect opportunity to dig a little more into their Mobius control platform. So you can see here, we've got a tank. All of the products that I'm assuming are gonna be able to be controlled via that Mobius platform. So Jay, do you wanna take us through a little bit more detail? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, I mean, this is our little Mobius playground, which we uh, prepared earlier. Nice. And we have on here a uh, Vectra pump, the new Versa dosing pump, a Radeon, and an MP40, and these are the drivers for the MP40 and for the Vectra. So pretty much the whole package. Yeah, so you probably have, if you're an Ecotech user, some or all, or maybe multiples of some of this equipment. Yeah. And um, hopefully uh, it should all be compatible for you with the minimal amount of effort to get up and running. I guess that's a good place to start then. So if someone wants to get on the Mobius platform, which products are ready to go, and if they're not ready to go, what have they got to do? Okay, so out of the box, the Versa dosing pumps run on Mobius, and these will only run on Mobius. The rest yeah. of the equipment is currently shipping with EcoSmart Live firmware on board, right. but the rest of equipment, for instance, that's shipping right now, um, and for what's shipped for the bulk of this year, requires nothing more than a firmware upgrade. Right, okay. So if you've got a firm, if you've got the later models of most of the equipment, you're just going to need to do a firmware update, and then you'll access Mobius just free of charge, right? Yeah. So it'll be available on the App Store. You download it. Um, the initial firmware upgrade for all of this equipment to switch it over is going to take a few minutes, somewhere budget in around 10 minutes per device right. that you're upgrading. After that, progressive firmware updates, software updates are much faster. Right. But that first time, you're basically switching everything over from being EcoSmart Live compatible to being to Mobius, Mobius compatible. Yeah. But I mean, that's a small price to pay considering what you're getting access to. Yeah, because one of the pieces of equipment which is not here is the ReefLink. Right. And the ReefLink is currently the bridge between your Wi-Fi network and the internet, and which gives you EcoSmart Live, yeah. app control, everything. With Mobius, it's Bluetooth LE. So once your equipment is configured or comes with Mobius firmware on it, simply open the app and it'll appear right there for you. Yeah. So going, taking a step back, if you've got the later products, you just need the firmware update. If you've got products before that, is there, are they going to be available to use with the Mobius platform? Yeah. So when Mobius actually becomes fully available, there'll actually be a website address that you'll be able to go to and type in the serial number of your product, right. and it will tell you exactly what's required or if your equipment is not compatible with Mobius. Right. There's basically three levels, or I guess four levels of compatibility if you count out of the box compatible. Yeah. There is firmware upgrade. That means it has already the hardware on board. Simply do a firmware update. That's probably anything manufactured within the last year and a half. Right. Uh, beyond that, some of the equipment can be upgraded by changing out the RF module, which is the communications module. Simply yeah. open the driver, the light, unplug it, plug in the new one. Yeah. That will get you to the hardware level of compatibility. And then beyond that, with equipment where you can't remove that, which would be earlier model Gen 3 Radeons and before, yeah. unfortunately, those you can only work with ESL. Right, yeah. But it means that a lot of products out there are going to be able to access the Mobius platform some way or another. Yeah, absolutely. And um, and if they can't, EcoSmart Live is still available. So yeah. if you're already running that system yeah, yeah. and you don't want to upgrade or you have equipment, a number of equipment items yeah. that are not part of or upgradable, then you and can continue using running. that. So absolutely. if you're out there and you're loving EcoSmart Live, you haven't got to move over to Mobius. Nope. But we've played a little play with it. We've had some testing going on at our HQ. And it's pretty impressive. And I think most people are gonna wanna benefit from some of the offerings it has. Yeah, and I mean, this is the culmination of what we've been working at for almost a decade now in terms of equipment. As right. you can see here, with the exception of the tank itself, at this point, we have pretty much all of the more technologically advanced equipment you can have yeah. on an aquarium. Uh, it's all running, it all communicates with each other, yeah. and you can do very sophisticated things which were not possible before the level of technology which right. is now available. So is that a good point to go in to, in a little bit more detail into what Mobius can actually do and some of the things that it can offer that EcoSmart Live can't? 
yeah, absolutely. So you've already got your products that are Mobius enabled and you've downloaded the Mobius app. Um, you're going to get them connected, but how does it actually do that connecting? Is it Wi-Fi like EcoSmart Live or is it something completely different? Yes, yeah, so Mobius operates primarily in terms of the user interface to the devices by Bluetooth LE, right. which is obviously a relatively new format. It's not Bluetooth that connects to your audio device. It's more passive and more ongoing. Right. It's also kind of more reliable, so it's designed for Internet of Things right. type connections. And what you have is all of the programming living on your equipment. And then when you're interacting with it, that is when you're changing the programming. So you're making a change on your device. Right. You're communicating it to this network of smart devices. And, and then it carries on from it. there. Yeah. So it should, being Bluetooth, hopefully cut out some of the problems that you might have trying to communicate over a more complicated Wi-Fi network. Yeah. So there's a, a number of major benefits. One is that Bluetooth LE does not require pairing. So right. as soon as you open the app, it will find all of the available devices. Yeah, that's a really big deal. Right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it makes it super fast. Yeah, yeah. The other thing is that obviously that poses for some people a security issue, but we have that in the app to basically lock your equipment by a passcode or PIN number right. so that other people can't necessarily access your equipment. Okay, that's great. From a communications perspective, the combination of Bluetooth and the Thread network is uh, very valuable because it cuts down a lot on things like range and interference issues. Yeah. Because what happens is whichever device is effectively closest or has the best Bluetooth connection becomes the primary device. And from there, through the entire equipment connection, a series of routing is obtained that yeah. will maximize okay. that yeah, yeah. Um, so if you've got more than one aquarium and you've got multiple equipment or you've got lots of equipment on one tank, it only needs to find one product to then allow you to carry yeah. out all of what you need. As to long do. as the other products are within range, which right. would be difficult if they weren't yeah, since they're generally on the same aquarium yeah, yeah, yeah. or in the, in the same general area. So. so I guess that's a good opportunity to maybe dig into those features a little bit more and take a closer look at the actual Mobius platform. Yeah, let's do it. The first thing that you'll need to be able to access Mobius other than equipment is a smart device. So this is your iPhone, your iPad, your Android tablet, or your Android phone. You download the app from the App Store, which is fairly self-explanatory, and then you'll just go ahead and open the Mobius app. Right. At this point, I already have this tank created, but on your home screen, what you have is your scenes below that, or actually in this area with the um, with the little uh, lightning bolt is your routines, and we'll get into both of those in a minute. Okay. Then you have your lighting programming and your circulation programming. Right. So we go to lighting, there it is. We have this light turned very low for filming purposes, uh, but there's your schedule. You can see the start of day, end of day. On your flow, same thing, there's your MP40, which is this pump, and then the Vectra over there, and what they're running. We have both of these running fairly low as well. Yeah. So, there are three kind of levels to using Mobius, and they're all very simple. Once all of your equipment is brought in, which can be done very easily by going to one of these sections and hitting the plus, then all the available equipment will be identified. Yeah. Legacy equipment, you'll have the opportunity to upgrade the firmware. Right. All of that can be covered in tutorials later. But basically what we have here then is your programming, the ability to add more. And we have templates, which will be things those of you are familiar with, our uh, AB plus schedule, things yeah. like that. Will so be if you're not going to get into the creating your own kind of custom um, plans, whether it be lighting plans or pump plans, you can use the templates that are straight out exactly. of the box, if you like. Exactly. And then as we go on, more and more of that will be encapsulated in this user interface for you. And a lot of that will come from places like Worldwide Corals. Right or um, you know, perhaps Charterhouse Aquatic, maybe Ryan's Tank yeah. would be incorporated in here. But um, the idea being that the community knowledge base, which comes with our, you know, our user base, will basically be able to be available to everybody yeah. in the kind of best of breed format yeah. mm -hmm. to use in your yeah. own tank. It becomes a complete sharing platform as well. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So there's the lighting and then the same kind of thing you go to the flow, you can add more pumps, and this is where your 
dosing return. Well, sorry, dosing is in the routine section, but your return pump and your circulation pump. So when you said right add there. more pumps, is there a limit to how many pumps you can add or is it? You would need to have an awful lot of pumps before you'd be <laughs> right. able to So not many people out there capability. are going to worry about, I've got X amount of MP pumps, I'm going to run out of space, Mobius has got it covered. Oh yeah, and then on top of that is chances are you've got them on multiple tanks anyway, and you can set up more than one tank right. if you needed to, if, yeah, yeah. if that's your situation. Um, so then if we go back to the overall, we have that ability to get in there on the individual level and program these devices to run on 24 hour schedules. Right. And in the case of the dosing pump, that also includes a couple of different ways to program them so that you can either continuously dose. You can see, I think this is currently dosing 500 ml over four hours. Right. So it's going at a very slow rate. Um, you can also have it do spot dosing and do it in increments at different times of the day. Yep. Um, or you can take manual control of it and there's a number of safeguards and other features associated with the Versa. In terms of your overall dashboard and program, you have your scenes. Right. And so scenes are instantaneous activities right. that you can configure. Okay. And so these are user controlled. So for instance, if we go to live demo, Live demo is focusing on the lights. And from here, we can adjust the colors and basically play with the lights yeah. and change the yeah. colors. And that gives you the luxury of deciding what the end spectrum is going to look like. You can mess around a bit. Yeah, you can this is exactly your play you area, right? right. Yeah, this yeah. live demo scene. Mm -hmm. Same with your pumps. If you wanted to ramp up or down your Vortec, I'm not going to splash you, so we'll leave that Good. alone. <laughs> Same with the, the Vectras there. So yeah. all of these give you instantaneous control. Right. That's all in your live demo scenes. Okay. Now, there are others, for instance, that we brought over from ESL, like Color Cycle, Disco, those related to light, having yeah. a thunderstorm. Yeah. But then where it starts to get really interesting is, um, say we go to feed mode. Gonna end, we're going to end live demo and go to feed mode. You can actually edit. You can edit a scene. Right. So... If we go to feed mode and we go into where you edit it, here is all of the different equipment that we have on this tank. Okay. And we can change the duration of that particular scene. So right now it's set for 10 minutes. We can change it to whatever we want. Mm -hmm. But we can also configure what the lighting does, what the dosing pump does, what the Vortec does, and what the Vectra do all yeah. during that scene setup. So that gives you the luxury of being able to tailor a particular scene to your individual needs. If you're carrying out a particular maintenance routine or you've got something that's really specific to your aquarium, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do it within the scene section. Absolutely, and I mean, that's, that's a really good point because there's certain things which you need to do functionally for your tank, but there's also things like maybe your tank's in your living room and you want just a way to make it run very quietly and turn the lights turn the down, light down for two yeah. hours mm -hmm. while you watch a movie. So you set up a scene that's yeah. two hours long. Yeah, and it's called movie. Movie, and, just, and off you go, away. exactly. Yeah. It's great. Going back to the home screen, if we then go down to this little area which is marked by this lightning bolt, this is where the routines are stored. And currently this is where you create programming for your dosing pump, right. as well as what will be your input devices. Right. And the difference between scenes and routines is that routines are going to live on your equipment and they're going to be actuated by events that take place in your tank. Right. Okay. So this is where Mobius will switch from being just a control platform for Ecotech equipment yeah. from a user giving programming, creating, activating scenes to actually turning it into a um, controlled yeah. an, controller an actual environment. controller yeah exactly yeah yeah and that's the exciting stuff i mean Amobius is exciting enough but that's when it can really start to be a huge benefit in terms of um, getting your tank running as automated as possible right yeah absolutely so right now that is largely related to the dosing pump yeah. as time goes on and in the relatively near future there'll be more equipment that um that bolts into that yeah exactly yeah. that that feeds into that system yeah so that's the overview of the Mobius platform, you've got your programming, mm -hmm. you've got your scenes, and then you've got your routines. Yep. Routines is kind of the under development area. Yep. Scenes are available as soon as you start using it. And then obviously the programming, which you've come to expect to be able to do on all the Ecotech equipment is now um, right here in Mobius.
So there you have a introduction, if you like, to Mobius. We've got some obviously key points in there, but moving forward, we're gonna be producing a lot more content via Charterhouse TV, giving you a little bit more in-depth information on Mobius and maybe instructional videos and the like. So make sure you stay subscribed. And if you've got, as always, if you've got any questions, uh, just feel free to get in touch. Jay, thanks for having us. As always, absolute pleasure. Thanks for inviting us into your HQ and showing us Mobius. And uh, we'll see you again soon, I'm sure. Thanks very much, Ryan. Yeah, thank you.